Hey guys, I'm back again, and uh, today we're going to be talking about electroplating. And it's my third attempt at making this fucking video, because I have fucked up three times. But uh, now that I got most of the kinks worked out, uh, I'm just going to talk about electroplating and how you do it. So basically what we have here is a tank, or Tupperware dish, full of uh, vinegar. Just distilled vinegar. And something iron. And then just two electrodes. They're both connected to positive, because positive is where you put your sacrificial metal. Negative is where you put your uh, metal that you want to plate. And basically how electroplating works is a great amount of things. You have the uh, sacrificial metal and the victim, I guess. In a tank of acid or vinegar, or if you're doing gold on the anything else, I believe you have to use some form of cyanide. Uh, but if you want to know more about like better electroplating and gold playing, I believe uh, Cody's Lab did a great video about that. If I remember, I'll link it. But basically, what happens is you have everything. I believe the term is ionize. It doesn't seem like ionizing. That'd be much more fun to watch. But basically, these little particles jump off of the copper and bind to the negatively charged thing because these are positively charged and opposites attract. So, depending on what you're plating, you're going to have to use different voltages. You don't want more amperage. You can see I'm running at 0.16 amps at 9 volts, which you could use this or this, but I like this because I have more control and you can find out what works best for you. I don't know if you can see this really well. I can't put my flash on camera. Let's see if I can. No, no I can't. But basically, <clears throat> it's just a tank full of... Oh, that's not good. I was about to touch. Um, you have an electrolyte or an acid in here, but you can see where it's turning blue around everything slightly. And there's a beam here. But put this white piece of paper on there so you could see it turn blue. What that blue is, that's the copper going in the solution. And before you even start electroplating, what you have to do is you have to have a copper on both positive and negative. This one was on positive, but I just... No, it was on negative, I just jumped up to positive, that way I could have more surface area. And... Then I just put that on negative and it's plating. It's doing pretty well, but it's dark. I'm going to polish it. And I probably won't even use polishing compound, because the grit would knock it off. But... When you're doing this, you want to make sure this one does not touch the vinegar. Because if this clip touches it, you'll be contaminating it with zinc or iron or whatever. But this one's okay because it's binding to it. Hence why it's binding to this. But this is stripping metal off. You can see where it's corroded and turned green. So once you have all this set up, you just wait. Depending on what you're doing, voltages will vary. Amperage shouldn't be too much of a problem. That's why I said you could get away with a 9-volt battery. Your uh, amazing Harbor Freight brand 9-volt batteries. But after a while, this will start to turn completely copper. I'm only missing one little place right in here. here. Hopefully if I can make that bare metal, it'll stick better. Then I'm going to knock this shit off the sides. But once that's plated, I'll uh, pull it out, and you'll probably see it in another video, or how to make one of these at least. These are very fucking helpful. I wouldn't have been able to do the quarter ring without it. I wouldn't have been able to make this handle on the lathe, and I still didn't draw, draw a straight hole in it. Because you need to find the center of a lot of different things. And uh, where's the bottle? Basically, I just use it to find the center of this when I first made it. But long story short, these things are incredibly helpful. I'll probably make a video about how to make one. I have a paper template somewhere. But thank you guys for watching and see you next time.